Hi, friends. Good to see everybody. I got in a new Kickstarter deck. Yay! I got this deck is haunted. Now, of course, you know me in my creepy decks. Must have. And I didn't know until just recently. Well, first of all, this is an Oracle deck. It is a 35 card Oracle deck and it is done by John Jennison. John Jennison. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyway, I just recently found out that John is responsible for the Mystic Mail Tarot as well. Um, Obviously, I do not have that because that's kind of not my subject matter. <laughs> but this one is. This is right up my alley. And I absolutely, um, it, it's, uh, it's not oracle sized. It is not tarot sized. I think it's more poker size because it's, it's quite small. So, and my glare here. Yeah, it's quite small. So, um... I fell in love with this deck, not only for the artwork, um, because I'm usually not terribly fond of black and white decks, but this one was different. The artwork um, is incredible. Plus, you know, I kind of fell in love with the backstory. And the backstory on this deck was, um, you know, he always had a fas fascination with death and what happens on the other side. But um, it really hit home when his, um, his Grammy Blair, who was his great-grandmother, I guess he used to sit on her bed and they would talk about their day and Grammy would give him candy that his mother and his grandmother didn't want him to have. Aren't grandmothers wonderful? Or even great-grandmothers wonderful to kids. But he has very fond memories of that. But Grammy Blair passed away. And that hit him really hard. That was the first death he had been through. But after she died, he had this dream where he swears that she was there at his door. And she came and she sat on the bed. And she told him not to be afraid and that everything was okay. And that he was, you know, to take care of his mother and his grandmother. And she was okay. And that made him feel, feel better. Although he shooed her off like, you shouldn't be here, you know. But uh, she wanted to say goodbye. And I thought that was just so wonderful. So, such a, a, a wonderful thing to have happen. Especially when you're a kid and you are um, really very open to those kinds of situations. So um, I think that was just a wonderful moment for him to share. And that will tie me forever with, with this deck because I just think it's awesome. So anyway, we have a tin here and the back said, this deck is haunted is a spooky oracle created for lovers of ghost stories and the horror genre. Hello? Um, these 35 creepy cards are designed to wake up your connection to the afterlife using images of ghosts and haunted items that guide the reader in answering questions that plague them on the earthly plane. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so inside, we just have the deck here. Ooh, got a little. <laughs> okay, get the little plastic thingy off here. And, ooh, I love it. It's so cute and tiny. It's perfect for your pocket, ladies. For your purses, this is a great size. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the, um, here are the back. This is the back of the deck. I like it because, yes. And um, I'd show you the front, but this is a scanner thing to download the guidebook. There is a digital guidebook. So there's that. Okay. Oh, 
are you ready? I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so our first card is the crying woman. Oh, I love that. Okay, the cards are good. They're good and they're they're bendy, but not too bendy. Uh, it's my understanding that this is black core cardstock. What was this? I can't read it. Oh, smoke cleansing. Ooh, I like that. Black core cardstock. So that's some good stuff. Ooh, look at that. Shadow ghost. I need to read the fronts first here. <laughs> so we have seance. I'm hoping that this is backward for me, but it's right side up for you. Look at the artwork. Isn't that wonderful? Screaming Skull. Samhain. I love the pumpkin. Like I said, I usually do not care for black and white decks, but the artwork on this is just so beautiful. I could not resist. Reaper. Ooh. Possessed. Ooh. Is that poltergeist? I'm getting better at reading backwards. <laughs> Planchette. Wow. Peace. Phase. Phase. Oh, look at this spooky wolf at the moon. Phantom Hound. Ooh. That reminds me of Hound of the Baskervilles. Love it. Of course, Pentagram. Murder of Crows. Yeah. These cards are a little on the slick side. Ooh. All right. Living doll. It should stay like lunatic doll or something. Bad doll. Mean doll. Devil doll. Um. <laughs> Keeper of souls. Ooh. Love it. Imaginary. Okay, that's a sweet card. That's a sweet card. I love it. it it's got the, the creepy to, to the sweet to, yes, baby, the Headless Horseman. One of my favorite Sleepy Hollow. Haunted house. Who does not want to live in a haunted house, right? Oh, grave. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. That's perfect. Go to the light. Go to the light. That's wonderful. Ghost stories. Oh, who doesn't love a good ghost stories? <gasps> yes, floating orbs. Floating orbs. We love a good orb, don't we? Oh, a fairy man. Yes. These are so great. Exorcism. Yes. That is fantabulous. I, I just, I can't, ooh. We have a blank one. I'm going to have to download the guide and see what that's about. Or if it's just one that um, you can you can put your own on. I love it sometimes. I never use those, though. Does anybody else ever create their own when, when creators put in blank cards? I never seem to use those. Ectoplasm. Lovely. Oh! Oh, you got to be kidding me. He's got a Dybbuk box in here. Come on. Oh, that just gave me goosebumps. 
that just demonic presence. This is awesome. He's got cards in here that I have never seen in any other deck. Darkness. Look at the creepy faces in the dark. That is cool. That is very cool. Crossroads. We all love a good Crossroads card. Of course, Coffin. Can't have a creepy deck without a coffin. Ah, the Circle of Salt. Yes, the Circle of Salt. So friggin' cool. Boogeyman! Boogeyman under your bed. You know, I gotta be honest with you. To this day, I will not hang my foot or arm off the edge of the bed. <laughs> How many of you do that? Come on, fess up. And the last card. Yes! Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Oh my God. John fantastic job fantastic these are all cards i have never seen in any other deck they bring back such great childhood memories um and and even some today memories you guys i will um i'm gonna link down below where you can get this deck i hope he's still still selling it because Okay, this is this is like so cool. This is like so cool on its own. I can't wait to download the guidebook because I'm sure it's going to be juicy because um, these these names are juicy. So there you have it, guys. This deck is haunted. Go get it. Okay, sending you so much love. Mwah!